Geniuses, I'm GDY and I have bad English pronunciation. Over the past few days, we have studied the function and body types of the levator scapular. Today's topic is not boring anatomy, it's how we learn to love it. Today, let's study self relaxation of the levator scapular. Who needs to relax the levator scapular muscle? Is it a person's short muscle or long muscles? Exactly. When the length of the levator scapular muscle is shorter than normal, you should relax your levator scapular. If you're watching this video to fix your shoulder pain, I hope you will consider that. The reason for your pain in your shoulder may be because your levator scapular is short and tense. It may also be because the length of the levator scapular is longer than normal. I want to tell you about my last episode. Nine years ago, I worked at a hospital as a physical therapist. At that time, I met a lot of people with shoulder pain. One day, I met a woman in her 20s who had pain in her shoulder. She told me that her shoulder was uncomfortable. I used a technique that should have fixed her shoulder pain. I kept her rest the muscles around her shoulder where she had been feeling pain. During the treatment, she told me she felt comfortable. But the next day, her shoulder pain not gone away. I relaxed her shoulder muscles again. The next day, she said she was still in pain. The next day, and the next day. Eventually, her neck pain got worse. And she left fine treatment at another hospital. At that time, I didn't take her body type into account. I only thought about the skills I had to reduce the pain. Now that I think about her body type, it was a depressed shoulder. A depressed shoulder has long levator scapular and long upper trapezius. The muscle was I already stretched and I stretched even more with my misdiagnosis. I know it's cool when she got a massage. As a result, I further damaged her body. Eventually, her shoulder pain got worse. I want to apologize to her now. Also, I'm grateful to her for such a valuable experience. This episode is not for reducing shoulder pain. I will tell you again. The fundamental causes of your shoulder pain can vary widely. It may be caused by shoulder or longer muscle. Maybe it's an imbalance in the other shoulder. Maybe it's because of an imbalance in the wrist joint, pelvis, knee, and ankle joint. So I have to assess your body type imbalance to solve the fundamental cause of your shoulder pain. When we need to get assessment, PRM test, FRT, etc. I didn't do an assessment to find fundamental cause. I can't tell you any way to deal your shoulder pain. I've spent the last 10 years correcting shoulder pain. I focused not on pain areas, but the areas which were most imbalanced. And I taught my students not to look at the area that was in pain, but rather to correct the area where the imbalance is most severe. It's not just the shoulders. The same goes for neck pain, back pain, knee disorder, pelvis disorder, or HMP. The results were fantastic. I'd like to show you that example next time. She's an old client of mine. She complained of pain and limited movement in her right shoulder. I did a gait evaluation. I could find the fundamental cause of her right shoulder pain in her left arm. And I relaxed her left biceps bracket muscle. I didn't even touch her right shoulder. And this is my student message. I felt that once more it was important to find an imbalance across the body. I met a patient who had shoulder pain and limited movement. I did his gait evaluation. His pelvis debuted to the left, so I gave him to exercise for left gluteus medius, and I relaxed his left hip adductor muscles. I asked him to move his shoulder again. He told me the pain was gone and the limit of shoulder movement was removed. My client was shopping at a department store with a baby. She tripped and fell. At the moment she hit her shoulder to protect her baby. She hit her shoulder seriously the moment she fell. Not only was she unable to movement her arms, but she also complained of severe pain. I did a gait evaluation. She had unstable pelvis on both sides. The right side was a little bit worse. I relaxed her hip adductor muscle and did a pelvic lateral stabilization exercise. Then I woke up again and checked her shoulder. It was fantastic. The pain in her shoulder was gone and her arm went up to the top of her head. I was happy that I joined hands and ran. Do you know massage that reduces your shoulder pain? That is not a fundamental solution. I hope you can find a more fundamental solution, even if it takes a little longer and is more complicated. 
Let's summarize the body type of the elevated scapular that are shorter than the normal length once more. A body type in which the scapular is elevated rather than neutral alignment, and at the same time the scapular are adducted to the spine. A body type in which the upper cervical spine is rotated to the same side, and at the same time the upper cervical spine is tilted to the same side. If you don't understand, watch episode 13 and 14. To be honest, I made those episodes in order to 15. Now let's study how to relax your elevated scapular muscle. The first thing you need to do is find the trigger point on your levator scapular. Every muscle has not point where it is overused according to body type. Finding a trigger point is important when applying thoracic massage. Let's learn more about this trigger point next time. I'm sorry but it may take another hour if we start talking about it now. The trigger point of the levator scapular is easy to find. It's around the superior angle of the scapular. The way you find it on yourself is, first find the place where your neck and shoulders meet, then move two fingers outside and one finger to the back. Try rubbing the spot with your hand. You can feel a stiff mass of muscles. To increase the length of the levator scapular, you have to get the opposite postures when it's shortened. When the levator scapular is concentric contraction, the upper cervical spine rotates in the same direction, and it leans to the same side. So you rotate your head to the other side, tear to the other side at the same time. It's important not to overposition the cervical spine. Rotate your neck moderately, tilt it properly. If you overdo it, muscles on the side of the cervical spine can become excessively stressed and damaged. It can also become unstable on the cervical side. Remember that the area where we need to relax is the trigger point. Gently press the trigger point of the levator scapular with one hand. Apply pressure in the opposite direction while the levator scapular is getting shorter. The opposite of the uplift function, the opposite of the pull forward function, and the levator scapular is slanted inward. You have to push the shoulder slightly outward. This is the most important thing. The strength of the pressing force should not be to the point of discomfort. It might hurt a little but there is also fresh feeling. Each person has a personal difference. This is self risk method. In fact, it's the way that I made for myself. I covered half a bag and worked at the desk for a long time. I work at a desk for an average of 15 hours a day or as many as 18 hours. The more I repeated this, the shorter my levator scapular became. As you know, no one around me will care for me. If you have a body fast master who wants to treat me, please contact me. I'll be waiting for you. If you're doing it yourself, do it like this. We need an exercise mat, a tower, and a wall corner. Fold the tower to a suitable thickness and place it on the trigger point of the levator scapular. If you don't have a tower, you will find this very difficult, and it will adversely affect your condition. Place your mat near the corner of the wall. Put the mat on an angle of between 20 and 30 degrees because the levator scapular is not vertical. It goes up 20 to 30 degrees inside. Set the four point position. Put the trigger point of the levator scapular against the edge of the wall. Rotate the head to the other side and tilt slightly. Put your weight on the edge of the wall and press the trigger point of the levator scapular. An angle between 20 and 30 degrees facing the wall provides a perfect posture to increase the length of the levator scapular. During self release, you may feel pain around your shoulder muscles or arms or fingertips. The side of the head may also become stiff, and it may feel like your eyeballs are sticking out. You don't have to worry, simply adjust intensity. It may hurt a little but also feel relaxing and comfortable. Hold for about 30 seconds. Repeat until the tension of the nose part is reduced. How do you like it? It's easy. Other methods are also good if you can reflect these principles. You can use it in standing position or you can lie down and use this foam roller. But it's hard to assess. And the assessment has to be accurate. An accurate evaluation shows the direction of the treatment. When your levator scapular is stretched out, if you use this method incorrectly, your pain may get worse. I'm worried about making this video. I'm afraid of doing this method accurately assessing your body type. I already know a lot of people like videos that are about how to do it. For example, best 5 ways to fix your shoulder pain. A way of exercising to reduce the back pain. If you want to get rid of your knee pain, do it like this, etc. Unfortunately, it's very challenging for me to make a video on how to get rid of shoulder pain. Because the fundamental cause of your shoulder pain may not be that shoulder. The whole body must be evaluated to find fundamental cause. Every person has a different imbalance in their body type. That's why there are so many different causes. I'm teaching an expert on musculoskeletal system. They spent at least one year studying with me. Last Sunday, we studied 9 hours from morning till evening. And we were studying that way again this Sunday. To find the fundamental cause of musculoskeletal pain and dysfunction, even experts must study different causes for a long time. But to you, a layman, not an expert, how can I teach you 5 ways to get rid of your shoulder pain? It's impossible and I can't.
can't do that. No, actually, I have to do that to increase my channel subscribers and raise the number of views. To be honest, there are some videos like that that I did in the past. But now I've been reflecting on trying to trick you and market you like that. I can't do that anymore because the party first family who is studying truth with me is watching. From now on, I will only make what I truly believe. If you're an ordinary person who wants to find a way to reduce pain, you don't need to subscribe this channel. That information is being made by other people. If you want to be an expert, let's first study the grunt work together. Let's study the muscles and joints. Let's try it. Let's train our eyes to do a proper assessment of our type. What you need is not how to, it's a principle. You have to know the why. I'm sorry that I can't help you if you're an ordinary person. In my family, including my father, mother and my wife suffer from musculoskeletal pain and dysfunction, I should have to do this. The most sincere advice I can give you is find the body first master. I mean it. They will give you a solution and an accurate assessment of your whole body type.